Palestinian and Israeli leaders this week in an attempt to broker a deal with just weeks left on a nine-month negotiating table that is almost at its conclusion and not looking good. Charles Krauthammer is a syndicated columnist, Fox News contributor, and author of Things That Matter, number one on the New York Times bestselling list for 23 weeks now. Charles, um, you are not a fan of how the Secretary of State has handled all of this. Let me start with this. Could anyone have done better with these two sides, given how diametrically opposed they are? Of course not. Nobody else could have done better. But just about every other sentient observer of the Middle East would have understood that before Secretary Kerry began his crusade, would have known nine months ago when this was self-initiated by him, that there was no way this would ever succeed. And the worst thing for an American Secretary of State to do is to make a fool of himself in front of the world, engaging in a, in a quixotic endeavor that everybody understood was impossible. There's an old saying in the Middle East, he whom the gods would destroy puts in his head that he will solve the Arab-Israeli dispute. And, th and this was a point in time when Kerry kicked this off, when there was zero indication from either of the parties that there was any desire or any conditions, any ripeness to these negotiations where they might even lead to a conclusion. Why did he do it? That's the problem. Why did he do it? I mean, you know, what do you think I am, a psychiatrist? <laughs> um, look, for John Kerry, I mean, I would give you what seems to be the surface explanation. Either he thought, well, I can't solve Egypt, I can't solve Syria, I can't solve Lebanon, Jordan is inundated with refugees, Iraq is a mess, Iran is going nuclear and I can't stop them, so let me try to do something in the one area that really right now is not in crisis and does not require our administrations. Or he thought, I deserve a Nobel Prize, this is the last job I'm going to have in my career, this is the thing that if I get it will give me a Nobel Prize and I'll go for it. But it doesn't make sense at any level. That's the problem. Not that he failed. That was utterly predictable from the very beginning. He comes out. But that he initiated this. He comes